In scriptures, the human body is often referred to as the temple of God. Yet it is quite an uncommon privilege for any soul to attain this sacred abode that houses the divine, as it is truly a blessing to be reborn as a human being. On several occasions, Supreme Master Ching Hai has spoken about the rarity of this phenomenon. To be reincarnated in the human world is hard. You have to have enough human quality. You have to have affinity with the parents, yeah, and with the society, with the people around which you were born. And very difficult. To be a human, you need some merit. You have done something good in the past in order to be able, yeah, <laughs> to be able to pick a human birth. As a living temple of God, the human body is fully equipped with miraculous wonders that can be awakened in those who are spiritually conscious and have complete faith in the Creator of all life. Inedia, Latin for fasting, is the human ability to live without food. Since time immemorial, there have always been individuals who can sustain themselves on prana, or the vital life force. Through the grace of the providence, inediates, people who follow a food-free lifestyle, can draw the energy from nature to nourish themselves. They live on the chi, from the ground, or from the forest, and from the sun and from the air. They make use of all that. Or they live on love, on faith alone. These individuals are known as Breatharians, Salarians, Waterians, or Pranarians, and they come from all walks of life, from different cultures and all corners of the world. Indeed, the possibilities and miracles in this life as our benevolent Creator has designed for us are endless. We only need to connect within to recognize our abounding largest as God's children. Supreme Master Ching Hai has lovingly recommended a weekly series on Supreme Master Television to introduce those individuals of the past and present who have chosen to live food-free on earth. May their spiritual stories enthrall you, may hearts be opened and horizons be expanded. We now invite you to join us for our program, Hira Ratan Manak, Sun Gazing for Peace and Good Health, on Between Master and Disciples. This program discusses the possibility of breatharianism, or living without eating food, and is not a full instruction. For your safety, please do not attempt to cease eating without proper expert guidance. Welcome caring viewers to Between Master and Disciples on Supreme Master Television. Today we meet an amazing soul, Hira Ratan Manik, who travels the globe to teach others the art of sun gazing. In an interview with Miriam Knight, author for New Connection, Pacific Northwest Journal of Conscious Living, Hira Ratan Manik, also known as HRM, revealed the lofty ideal that continues to inspire him to travel the world in spite of his advanced age of 73. Global healing and peace everywhere. There will be no energy crisis because sun energy will never end. No pollution because sun energy never produces pollutants. No obesity and no hunger. No AIDS and no cancer. All will be mentally, physically and spiritually fit. Yes, we are moving towards the golden age of Satya Yoga from the present Kali Yoga, from bad to internal good. Through the art of sun gazing, Hira Ratan Manik achieves the ability to live food free for extended periods of time. 
The longest he has ever been food free was 411 days when he was under the observation of a team of international medical doctors and scientists in Ahmedabad, India. Let us now find out more about this gentle soul with a big heart. Hira Ratan Manik, a former mechanical engineer, was born on September 12, 1937 in Bodhavad, India. He grew up in Kalikat, Kerala, where he attended school and finally obtained his degree in mechanical engineering from the University of Kerala. I was brought up in the southwest part of India, the state called Kerala, which is known as God's own land because the weather is the same there. We have a lot of things growing there like tea, coffee, cardamom, cashew, pepper, ginger, so many costly spices are grown there. I was educated in English medium and even today most of us study in English medium in India. So we are very fluent in English. Upon graduation, Hira Ratan Manak assisted in his family shipping and spice trading business. I was looking after the work of my ships. My family was owning so many ocean going big cargo and passenger ships. So as a owner, I used mechanical engineering, what I studied. And everything went on till 1975. Then the shipping ran into rough weather. We had to close down our company. After his family's business failed, he started his own spice business. Up until this time, Hira Ratan Manik had always been an avid reader of ancient cultures, an interest which he had developed since childhood. As a result of this pastime, he was drawn to the prevalent theme of sun worshipping in these ancient cultures. I was doing my shipping business, exporting spices to different parts of the world. Meanwhile, I got married. I have a wife one son, one daughter, two grandsons, and uh, in 1992, I took up the sun gazing, which I was reading from my age of 25 years. I was very much interested from my childhood about the ancient culture spread all over the world, and the culture of the Incas of South America, the Viracochas of Peru, the Mayans of Mexico, the Native Americans of the United States, that attracted me very well. And there are many similarities between what we believe in India about the worship of the sun. So that led me more and more inside this sun-gazing practice, why sun worship was there, with different cultures in ancient times all over the world. And it took me 30 years finally to find out the secrets, why it was done and what were the benefits. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Between Master and Disciples will return in just a moment with our show on Hira Ratan Manu. Welcome back to Between Master and Disciples on Supreme Master Television. Let's continue with our feature on Hira Ratan Manik, spreading the Solarian message. During the course of his practice, Hira Ratan Manik realized that gazing at the sun on a regular basis would have tremendous benefits to the mental and physical well-being of anyone who practices it. With his science background, Hira Ratan Manik transformed the ancient art of sun gazing and made it more accessible to the modern world. I applied my scientific mind made a protocol of practice acceptable with the modern medical science beliefs and wisdom. I got successful. I had a lot of problems of sleeplessness, depression and all those things because of my 
business activities, I got cured from that. And then I thought this is the best thing to put it before doctors and satisfy them. And three times they also observed me, they agreed these things are possible. From 1995 to 1996, Hira Ratan Manik went food free for 211 days while under the observation of Dr. C.K. Ramachandran, a medical expert on allopathy and Ayurvedic medicine. Four years later, a team of 21 international medical doctors and scientists, led by Dr. Sudhir Shah and Dr. K.K. Shah, observed him in his food free state for 411 days. During the observation, Dr. Navneet Shah, an endocrinologist, reported, Mr. Hira Ratan Manik has completed a 411-day fast successfully on the 14th of February 2001. It started from 1st of January 2000. He was consuming boiled water daily only between 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. No other liquids and just no other food, no IV or IM injections. He was completely kept isolated while under strict observation. Medical checkup commenced a few days before fasting program and continued till today. It consists of daily written record of pulse, blood pressure, respiration, temperature, water intake. ECGs are taken regularly, ultrasonography, EEG, CT scan and MRI brain have been taken at the end of one year and a team consisting of general practitioner doctors, physicians, surgeons, cardiologists, endocrinologists and a neurologist have been examining regularly and periodically from the first day of fasting. There is no medical abnormality. Even the brain and mental capacities are absolutely normal. The rest of the other parameters are normal. The third time, the medical doctors and scientists at Thomas Jefferson University and the University of Pennsylvania in the U.S observed Hira Ratan Manik for 130 days. During this period of observation, they found that Hira Ratan Manik's gray cells were regenerating. 700 photographs have been taken where the neurons were reported to be active and not dying. Furthermore, the penile gland was expanding and not shrinking, which is typically what happens after mid-50s, and its maximum average size is about 6 by 6 millimeters. However, for HRM, it has been measured to be at 8 by 11 millimeters. After three years of practicing, Hira Ratan Manik decided to close his business and dedicated his life to teaching others the ancient art of sun gazing to improve their quality of life. Now he travels around the globe to deliver nearly 300 lectures and workshops annually. I understood because this is a cost free practice and humanity should not lose its benefits, so I wound up my business retired from my business and from 1995 I am preaching this practice all over the world. I am traveling non-stop all over the world for last so many years. It's not at all difficult for me because I am getting lot of energy directly from the sun which I have, my body I have tuned to the sun and this is what I am preaching to the people that to solve all problems in life, especially the health problems, sun is the, not only the easiest source, but also the cost-free source. And nowadays when we are facing problems of economy, when everyone wants to heal their problems with minimum cost, the sun gazing offers totally a cost-free practice and it is going very popular all over the world. Welcome to our show, Hira Ratan Manik, Sun Gazing for Peace and Good Health, on Between Master and Disciples. Last week we learned that Hira Ratan Manik, a 73-year-old mechanical engineer and solarian, travels the globe to teach others the practice of sun gazing. 
And I am traveling non-stop all over the world for last so many years. Sometimes I give four or five lectures also. Here, tomorrow I am going to give three lectures on Saturday. Uh, two days back in uh, Bahia Blanca I gave five lectures in one day. A day before in uh, Marden Plata I gave three lectures. So it's not at all difficult for me because I am getting lot of energy directly from the sun. This is what I am preaching to the people that to solve all problems in life, especially the health problems, sun is not only the easiest source but also the cost-free source. Through this method of practice, Hira Ratan Manik achieves the ability to live food-free for extended periods of time. And intuition came into my mind. I made a protocol of the practice. Hice el protocolo de esta práctica. I practiced myself. Lo practiqué por mí mismo. And to my surprise, my hunger started disappearing. Y para mi sorpresa, el hambre empezó a desaparecer. The longest he has ever lived without food was 411 days, when he was under the observation of a team of international medical doctors and scientists in Ahmedabad, India. During the observation, he only consumed boil water and underwent many tests. The results, there were no medical abnormalities and his brain's gray cells were regenerated. How is it possible that he can survive without the need for food? Hira Ratan Manik shared his thoughts during an interview with our Supreme Master Television correspondent. When people hear of a food-free lifestyle for the first time, they may wonder why it is possible that a human body can live without the need for food or drink. No, it is just the body requires the energy. We eat, drink, everything is for the energy. If body can get energy from any other sources, then body can sustain. And we know through ancient scientific knowledge that the human body depends on the five elements like the sun, the air, the water, the earth, and the cosmic or the space. So these are the sources which give energy. We are all using indirect energy of the sun. But body has a mechanism to use it directly. So there is nothing surprise or anything because we are not accustomed or when people do not know, then they may get surprised. But this is actually a science. Aside from dispensing with the need for food, here Ratan Manik also achieved other benefits. I had a lot of problems of sleeplessness, depression and all those things because of my business activities, I got cured from that. He realized that gazing at the sun on a regular basis would have tremendous benefits to the mental and physical well-being of anyone who practices it. With his science background, Hira Ratan Manik transformed the ancient art of sun gazing and made it more accessible to the modern world. Uh, this method is very simple. You have to energize your brain first, then the body, and brain is energized through the light coming from the sun which enters through the eye. And that is why you have to look at the sun. And generally we are all afraid of looking at the sun, but now we know scientifically that first hour of the sun in the morning or last hour of the sun in the evening has no harmful effect at all. And during this time if you start looking, slowly start by 10 seconds, every day increasing by 10 seconds, then there is an energy coming from the sun that is called photons that reaches the brain and that gives all beneficial effects to the human body. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Between Master and Disciples will return in just a moment with our show on the Solarian, Hira Ratan Manik.
Welcome back to Between Master and Disciples on Supreme Master Television. Let's continue with our feature on Hero Ratan Manik, Sun Gazing for Peace and Good Health. According to Hero Ratan Manik, one can achieve mental peace and physical health through the practice of sun gazing. What about side effects? Hero Ratan Manik shared his experiences and views regarding the practice of sun gazing. In the transitioning stage, how did you feel? No, I felt normal because I had read that this is possible, so for me it was not a surprise. With this method, no one will become tired because after all you are energizing the body. When you energize, how can you go tired? So there is no question of any adverse effect or side effects. Actually, man will be out of energy crisis, he will be getting more and more energy. Even medically also they say human body is made up of light. If we are made up of light, light can heal us. So all the powers of nature are just to help our health, sustain ourselves uh, happily. But if we remain away from nature, then definitely we suffer. After three years of practicing, Hira Ratan Manik decided to close his spice business and dedicated his life to teaching others the ancient practice of sun gazing to improve their quality of life. It's my mission that there should be human welfare on this planet which will ultimately be the world peace. And I want to see each and every human being on this planet totally out of all problems in life. At a lecture in Madrid, Spain earlier this year, Hiro Ratan Manik introduced the many benefits of sun gazing. If you love the sun, it will give you everything that you require. Os dará todo lo que necesitáis. Especially the supreme health. Especialmente una salud suprema y perfecta. And without any cost. Y todo esto sin ningún precio. If you want to get love of the sun. Si queréis conseguir el amor del sol. A small practice you have to do. Esta es la práctica que tenéis que seguir. And that practice is known all over the world. Y esta práctica es conocida en todo el mundo. As sun gazing. Como sun gazing o contemplación del sol. Sun gazing is an ancient practice. El sun gazing es una práctica muy antigua. I have just revived that practice. Y lo único que he hecho ha sido recordar esta práctica. It was practiced by our ancestors right from the beginning of the humanity till thousands of years. Hace miles de años, desde el principio de la humanidad, fue practicada por nuestros ancestros. Only during the last few thousand years. Solo desde los últimos miles de años. As the modern science advanced. Um, cuando fue avanzando la ciencia moderna. The humanity lost touch of sun gazing practice. La humanidad perdió el contacto con la práctica del sun gazing. Hira Ratan Manik also highlighted how the human body, as well as the environment, can derive healing properties from the all-giving sun. Looking at the sun during safe times. Mirando al sol durante los periodos seguros. And warming the body with the safe sun. Y, mi, y calentando el sol, el cuerpo con el sol en, los, en periodos seguros también. Curará de una manera muy fácil y gratuita todos vuestros problemas de salud. No hay mejor medicina en el mundo que esa en nuestro planeta. El sol nunca os, os dañará si lo usáis de una manera adecuada. You will become mentally healthy and mentally peaceful. Os haréis, eh, tendréis una, men, una paz mental y una salud mental perfecta. And so it becomes your contribution to the world peace and world welfare. Y así os haréis contribuyentes de la paz mundial, de la paz mundial y, la, y de la bienestar mundial. The entire world can be transformed very easily through sun gazing. Todo el mundo puede ser fácilmente transformado a través del sun gazing. If you want really true world peace, permanent world peace, si realmente queréis una paz mundial permanente, we must all become mentally healthy and mentally peaceful. Todos nos tenemos que hacer que pacificar y tener una salud mental. And sun gazing is the answer. Y el sun gazing es la respuesta. 
Sun also reduces pollution. El sol también reduce la contaminación. Balances ecology and environment. Eh, equilibra el, el medio ambiente y la ecología. And cleanses our brain of all our weak nature. Y limpia nuestro, nuestro cerebro de toda nuestra naturaleza débil. And the divinity that is hidden in us. Y la divinidad que está oculta dentro de nosotros. Comes on the surface. Sale a la superficie. The depression, schizophrenia, mental phobia. La, la, la schizophrenia, la depresión, las fobias mentales. Addictions like liquor, smoking, drugs. Las adicciones a, a las bebidas alcohólicas, a, a las drogas, al tabaco. They all disappear automatically. Todo eso desaparece automáticamente. Aside from the mental and physical aspects, there are also spiritual benefits to practicing sun gazing. But when you do sun gazing, cuando hacéis sun gazing, When you become mentally and physically healthy, cuando tenéis una salud mental y física perfecta, sun will slowly lead you to all time meditation. El sol poco a poco os llevará hacia una meditación constante. Even with open eyes, incluso con los ojos abiertos, doing your daily work in life, haciendo vuestro trabajo cotidiano, you will be always in meditation mode. Estaréis siempre en un estado meditativo. You will have no disturbed thoughts. No tendréis nada que os, que os turbe. You will be always immersed with the divine thoughts. Siempre estaréis inmersos en, en los pensamientos divinos. Sun gazing also helps reduce the need for food, especially during periods of fasting. As one is nourished by the energy of the sun, hunger and the desire for food also disappear over time. There is a scientific method to fast. Pero hay una, un método científico para ayunar. Which is now medically accepted. Que ha sido ahora aceptado médicamente. If you follow that method, si sigues este método, your hunger will slowly disappear. Vuestro hambre poco a poco desaparecerá. But your body will get energy directly from the sun. El, el cuerpo, vuestro cuerpo conseguirá energía directamente del sol. And you need not draw energy from the food. Y no tendréis que, que tomar energía de la comida. The hunger comes because body requires energy. El hambre aparece porque el cuerpo necesita energía. But body has a mechanism to depend on the energy from the sun. Pero el, el cuerpo tiene su propio mecanismo para depender solo de la energía del sol. Many people in the past have lived on sunlight for years and years. Hay mucha gente en el pasado que han vivido durante años en el sol. So you are not fasting in the true sense. Realmente no estáis ayunando. But in the scientific way, the fasting is happening in you naturally. Pero si lo vemos de una manera científica, realmente el ayuno está ocurriendo en vosotros de una manera no, natural. You are not controlling hunger. No controláis el hambre. Hunger is disappearing from you. El hambre desaparece. And when you are at 270 days of practice, cuando hayáis llegado a, los, a 270 días de práctica, when you are at 45 minutes of sun gazing, cuando llevéis 45 minutos de práctica de sun gazing, your hunger disappears forever. Pues el hambre desaparece para siempre. Motivated by his compassion for humankind, Hira Ratan Manik continues to share his method of sun gazing, giving nearly 300 lectures around the world annually. He is on a mission to spread his message of global healing and peace. All will be mentally, physically and spiritually fit. Yes, we are moving towards the golden age of Satya Yuga, from the present Kali Yuga, from bad to eternal good. <laughs>